Police are asking for your help to catch whoever is behind a string of burglaries in Niskayuna. It's been a startling case for police as they say at least a half dozen of the burglaries have happened while people were home sleeping. News 10 ABC's Marty Casper live at Niskayuna Police Headquarters with the latest. Marty. Well, what's unusual about this case and rather frightening for police is that the burglaries are happening at night. Most burglars tend to strike during the day when people are away from their homes, but these crimes are happening within feet of the homeowners. Police in Niskayuna need you to be on the lookout. We're seeing nighttime burglaries. Lieutenant Michael Stevens says since the beginning of September, Niskayuna has had at least 12 burglaries. All seem to be related. Entry has not always been forced. It's been through unsecured windows. Windows that police say were left unlocked. Once inside, the criminals have taken jewelry and electronics. In some cases, they've taken keys to vehicles and then in turn taken the vehicles as they're leaving. Police say all of the vehicles have been recovered, most in Schenectady, and most just left on the side of the road with no damage to them. You need to be vigilant in locking your doors, locking your windows, locking your vehicles. While police say the burglaries happened all over Niski Unit without any specific neighborhoods being targeted, they did say Baker Avenue was one of the streets that had homes broken into. But we've been lucky thus far that we've had no interaction between uh, suspects and homeowners. But since people have been home when the break-ins have happened, police are asking. If you're up in the middle of the night getting a drink of water and you see somebody out moving around, let us know. Police have added extra patrols. On midnights, we've uh, staffed up for the weekend. Still, fearing more homes could be targeted, they're hoping people act in the best interest of safety if you think a burglar has broken in. They need to try to retreat to a room within the house and pick up the phone and dial 911. Now, police say they do have a suspect in at least two of the burglaries who's actually already in jail in another county on unrelated charges. But since there might be more people involved and there might be other break-ins out there, police are asking if anyone has any information they think might be related to the case to contact Niski Una Police. Reporting live in Niski Una, I'm Marty Casper for News 10 ABC. Hey, Marty.